Carmelo, you guys are usually so effective at defending that three ball, but tonight 11 for the Mavs in the first half. What wasn't happening out there for you guys? Uh, they, I thought they, they threw a lot our way. Uh, kind of early in the game, they was you know, kind of working the, you know, the, the, the dirt situation. Uh, we switched a lot. Which, which was our game plan. Uh, they took advantage of that, and by the time we kind of settled that down a little bit, um, you know, just getting in the paint. Once you get in the paint, once you get in the teeth of the defense, uh, you know, our defense collapsing. You know, we had a lot of three balls after that. You looked like you were kind of frustrated out there today. Was that more of just a team thing, or for you personally? How are you feeling with this one? No, I mean, it's. I mean, losing this is frustrating. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't want it just to be a, an ongoing situation, an ongoing feeling. Well, we got to come to the locker room and explain why we lose a basketball game. So, uh, from that aspect, yeah, uh, it, it can be frustrating. Uh, things that happen on the court, uh, I probably thought should have went my way. Uh, that can be frustrating at times. Uh, you know, it seemed like it's just starting to become repetitive now. And it seemed like, though, down the stretch, though, you brought this game back. It was so close there. How important was it for you to see that this team will do that, though, and just fight and never give up? Well, we fought. I mean, we're we going to fight. Uh, you know, it's just things that happened kind of early in the game, uh, you know, where we shouldn't even be in, in, in certain situations at the end of the game. Uh, a lot of things linger. A lot of things that we're not doing early in the game, like tonight, like digging out, digging a hole for ourselves. I uh, didn't have to fight back. That's, that's tough to do and tough to win basketball games. I know you had the knee thing on Saturday, I think. How was it tonight? How did you feel? Uh, no, no effect. No effect tonight. Is the frustration with, with the shot mellow? Or are we talking other stuff, you know, calls and things of that nature? Well, I mean, it's, a, it's a, an accumulation of things. Calls, uh, shots. Uh, when I say shots, I mean going in. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wanted to clarify that. <laughs> um, you know, so it's it's just, it's a, you know, and losing, you know, all of the, all of those things, and just balling up. You starting to get concerned at all? I mean, you've been down this road a lot. The last yeah, yeah. I'm, years. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting concerned. Uh, I don't. I, I just don't like losing. Uh, I, I don't want to get used to that feeling. Uh, coming in the locker room and every day and have to explain why we lose a basketball game. I, that's a feeling that I don't want to get used to. So what do you think? I mean. Yeah, yeah. Has to change then, I don't know, man. It's just, it's it's hard to kind of say what has to change. Uh, you know, this this road trip is a, is a big road trip for us. Uh, that's the only thing that I can say. Um, you know, it, it, it can even go two ways. It can go good for us, or it can go bad for us. So we we got an opportunity to you know do something good on this road trip. Derek, Derek had talked after the Milwaukee game and again today about the activity level and energy not being there. Yeah. No. Did you see that? Is that well, early on, it, I mean, uh, I, th I thought we, we, we bring it in spurts. Uh, tonight we, we bought it towards the end of the game. We was already down, uh, having to fight our way where you put yourself in a position where you're kind of hoping that, you know, every shot goes in that you put up. Uh, and it, tonight was one of those situations. Big yeah. picture for you. I mean, earlier in the year, you were just coming off the injury. Yeah. Saying, some nights your the pop wasn't there yeah, on your yeah. jump shot. Where are you now with that? How is that feeling? Twenty games. Well, in? some I mean, some nights is you know the, the pop is there. Some nights is not. Um, that that's that's still that's still going to take time though. Uh, you know, coming off of the surgery. Uh, so I don't. I, I just take it day by day. Do they tell you like you should not have to deal with that anymore at X time or is it just something? Well, they say. I mean, it's a it's a point in time where you know it's, you shouldn't. I shouldn't have to be dealing with that. And pop will be there. Uh, as long as I'm continue doing the things that I have to do to, to make that work, but uh, you know, right now it's still a, a healing process. You know, and, and you know, for me, it's just I, I know that I want to be doing better. The team, I want the team to be doing better. Uh, you know, so that's all of that frustration starts sinking. What do you see from Darren Williams tonight? He looked comfortable. Uh, he got away from New York. <laughs> I mean, you know, some people can handle it, some people can't. And, you know, he, he was a guy who, you know, who needed to get away from this, you know, where he can kind of be himself and get some clarity and kind of get back to, 
Darren Williams that we all used to love. It kind of seems like when a guy has one or two bad seasons, everyone says, oh, he's washed up, he can't play anymore. Yeah, that's our society. Yeah. If you have one or two games, they tell you that too. <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing back, like uh, a, a fresh start in a new city, like what, what can that do for a player? It can, re, it can rejuvenate you mentally, you know, emotionally for him. It was just more of kind of, you know, getting away from this, getting away from New York. Uh, and he's, he seemed like he's comfortable, you know, out there in Dallas. When he's on the court, he's a different kind of deal than we've seen over the past couple of seasons. So you can tell that he have some kind of mental clarity where he, he feel comfortable again. I know you said the other day you don't look at the standings yet, but uh, <laughs> does it feel like there's enough good East teams? About a couple of years ago, you almost got in with 37 wins. Does it feel like that's doable now if you fall? Back that maybe the East is too good and there's going to be too many teams. That to be honest, I really don't know where we stand at in in, 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 the, in the Eastern standings right now. Maybe you could tell me. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I mean, you like eleven. The, the standings right now is is, is not in, not important uh, for me at, at this particular moment. How about so, the competition? Does it feel like there are more teams that are going to be harder to catch than there were in the last? Yeah, I mean, we don't. We just don't want to dig ourselves a hole because you know it's, it's not like kind of the past couple seasons in the East where it was two, it was three, four teams, and then it was a big gap, you know, but between everybody else. It seemed like everybody's playing good basketball this season, especially in the East. So we don't want to dig ourselves a hole. You know, we got to start picking this thing up. All right. Thanks.